after a family of five succumbed to inhalation of carbon monoxide emitted by burning charcoal from a jiko that was warming them last night. Now, our crimes and investigative reporter Brian Obuya is on the scene and is going to inform us about the latest from this particular tragedy where a family of five has succumbed to inhalation of carbon monoxide. As I'm informed, we're now established connection with Brian Obuya. Very good afternoon to you, Brian. It is a sad state of affairs right there. What's the latest in terms of the affected? Thank you, thank you, Jesse, and uh, you've rightly put it. We're coming to you live uh, from Kiambu here in Gedurai 45, and uh, like you've put it, uh, our five-member family succumbed to what police now suspect was inhalation of carbon one oxide. Uh, it's not established exactly when the incident took place, but the bodies were retrieved uh, early this morning. Uh, so that is, that, that, that is, uh, the, that is the, the most we know, that uh, the family had uh, gone into their house on the eve of the new year, but uh, they were not heard, there were no, their phones were not being answered. It's when uh, neighbors decided to check up on them and they realized no one was opening their doors and they had to now call a few other family members that they know who later on joined them and they broke into the house realizing that uh, the five had uh, died. They were rushed to hospital and uh, they were pronounced dead on, uh, on arrival. A five-member family, a couple and their three children who were staying in these uh, one, um, these single rooms uh, here in, uh, in, uh, in Gidurai. A, 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 and it's now almost a number of hours since police were here. They picked up the bodies, took them to the morgue. But more importantly, we would like to clarify that uh, the post-mortem examination on those bodies has not yet been conducted. But police are just suspecting that it was the inhalation of uh, carbon monoxide that led to their death. Uh, what we also know is that uh, uh, the husband, or rather the father to the three children, was uh, uh, used to sell some boiled maize and it was that night that uh, they were boiling the maize when they took in the ex excessive poisonous uh, fumes before they succumbed. So one thing again to note is that the houses we've seen here, there is very poor ventilation in the houses apart from just uh, some uh, the, the entire the entire part to the ceiling. I don't know if be what you see this, but the entire part of uh, the, the building up there is all sealed up all the way to the iron sheets. So there's no uh, air entering into the house and the ventilation unless one chooses to open their windows then it means that there will be almost zero uh, uh, there will be almost uh, very little access of air to those who are inside the, the house and given that there were five of them in the house uh, of course uh, biologically they were inhaling more air and uh, of course taking out more of that and with the carbon monoxide and the lighting of the jiko uh, described as a silent killer they then took in the carbon monoxide excessively and uh, they all succumb to to that now that is what police suspect once a post-mortem is conducted we'll be able to understand what really caused the death of the couple and their three children but last evening uh, our team was also here and uh, they were able to speak to police and a few neighbors were when the bodies were being retrieved, let's see if we can listen in to that. But for me and the entire team from here in Gidurai, that is the much we can post as at now, Jesse. <laughs> Vika hapa nikaabua kuna kitu inaendelea hapa kuna kiateka ako kwa nyumba atoki amekusanya hapa nikasema hata mimi wacha ishudie nikaingia kwa nyumba nikakuta hawa watu wote ni baridi majirani yangu 
The OCS Kimbo rushed to the scene only to confirm that a family of five, that is the father, the mother, and their three children, were confirmed to have died. We also joined the OCS whereby we confirmed that uh, the family died possibly out of suffocation because the husband is known to be a seller of uh, beyond miss and that is actually what we have seen in the house. Well, that's quite an unfortunate start to the year. We'll definitely inform you once.